Seiko has done something that needs attention shined on it, which is possibly creating the affordable watch of the year and one of the greatest Seiko releases in years, which is a redesigned Samurai in the SRP L11. Not only is this piece smaller than before, but it is also thin while retaining the angular Samurai look that made this case design so famous. We are also starting off with a fascinating burgundy red color scheme and wait until you hear what Seiko is asking for this piece. But will you be in the camp that liked the bigger version from before, or will you welcome this evolution of the Samurai? Let's find out. Welcome everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel, where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. And if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. And if you can't make it to our store, check out our cutting edge, user-friendly website, littletreasury.com, which is linked to our inventory in real time. All watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased. So please see our website or see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Omega Speedmaster Super Racing, which I found to be an exceptional timepiece with a host of interesting features and a super accurate new Spirate system that this piece is the first to utilize. I highly recommend checking this out if you just want to learn about the Spirate system, but this is also just an exciting watch all around. Wrist check time, today I'm wearing my Seiko SRPH42K Yak Watchang Thailand Limited Edition Samurai, which is the previous version of today's watch and is almost 43 millimeters in case width, so it's significantly larger. I really love to see this watch remade in the new version. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. My measurements for the Seiko Prospect Samurai SRPL11 are a 39.8 millimeter case width, a 12.4 millimeter thickness, a 48.8 millimeter lug to lug, a 19.7 millimeter lug width, a 31.3 millimeter crystal diameter, and it weighs in at 170.31 grams. The case is the Samurai case, and it is in stainless steel, which has angular areas on the top in matte finish, and more matte finish on the sides. A screw down crown can be found at the three position, and it is simple with no logo. The bezel is in burgundy with white markers, and is most likely made out of aluminum with a hardened coating applied. It turns unidirectionally like a dive watch should, and let's go ahead and test that action. The bezel's good and it feels very nice for this price point. The clicks have a decent volume and it's crisp and easy to grip. So I'll recommend this bezel. It's a very good one, especially for this price again. The dial is in a flat burgundy tone. White markers can be found along the edge of the dial, which are the minute grade. The dial markers are now bullet style, aside from the 12, which has a cut off tip and a line at the top. Seiko can be found in white at the top middle portion. The hour and minute hands are sword style in silver tone with a silver toned second hand that has an arrow style loomed area at the tip. The date window can be found at the 430 position with no frame and it's in a circular cutout with a black background and white numerals. The prospect symbol, automatic and divers 200M can be found at the bottom middle portion of the dial in white. Loom can be found on all of the dial markers, the hour and minute hands and on the pip of the bezel. The case back is closed and has the Seiko Prospects wave engraved into the center. The movement is the Seiko 4R35 caliber, which is tried and true at this point since it was released in 2011. It has a 41 hour power reserve, beats at 21,600 beats per hour, has a dia shock anti shock system, and has an accuracy rating of between losing 35 to gaining 45 seconds per day. The bracelet is a three link design, which is matte finished and has a folding locking pusher clasp with a spring bar micro adjustment. The Seiko Samurai SRP L11 is 200 meter water resistant. It's a standard model in the Prospects lineup, and it can be yours for $575. Now for my personal opinion. This is such a pleasant surprise. The Samurai has kind of been missing in action for a long time now, and Seiko has done a great job remaking this into something that will appear to a much broader audience. It is smaller and just feels more refined in general. 
It looks like a great alternative to the new 62 Moss mid-range pieces, but for half of the price. The Samurai case is just so much fun with its angular edges now shrunken down. Sure, you don't get the 6R movement, but honestly, the 4R is plenty good for the price that you're paying anyway. And this one will probably keep similar time just with a smaller power reserve. The bracelet on this piece is very comfortable and has micro adjustment, which is better than what you'd expect at $575. And now the interesting part, for this price point, this piece will contend with the Seiko 5 GMT pieces and also with more expensive 62 Moss and even Baby Marine Master pieces. So this really could be a disruptive watch in the Seiko lineup. I love the burgundy on this and it's just different from what we usually see, but I'm excited to see a limited edition with a wild color come out because I'm sure that that will be extremely hot. I'll say that this piece is a great addition to Seiko's lineup and will become very popular moving forward. And at the store, we're already sold out and we're waiting for more. I'll recommend this to any new collector who wants a solid, great quality timepiece to wear daily or even diving with its 200 meter water resistance, or any collector who wants a great looking watch to wear playing around with minimal thought involved. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.